hey everyone welcome back to my channel um i haven't recorded in a really long time i don't remember if my last video was my anemia video or i think i posted something of christmas i'm not so sure i have recorded um since then i just haven't posted it um i did a bunch of videos in christmas and i didn't post it my kids don't stop mentioning that like mom you didn't post the videos of christmas i'm like i know i know like i just been tired been um busy so i want to start recording again i always say that i never do but maybe this time um i want to start recording a little more again but before i started recording i didn't just want to jump into recording i wanted to make this video and kind of let you guys know where i have been and things like that so if you guys are interested stay tuned well, i'm gonna explain like everything i have done since my last video so i'll break it down everything that has happened and things like that you know so where do i start i think last time i recorded was like a few months ago it wasn't even this year i think it was last year so um first thing i opened up a business i think it's the first thing that really has happened this year like big thing that's what has kept my time mostly um i opened up a business it's an online jewelry store I have this on the, on the jewelry store. This I don't have. I want to find something like this. This was actually a gift for my mother. So I don't have that. But um, I am going to try, try to find something like this. But this I do have. I have many other jewelry. Actually, I'm running a, I'm running a mid-summer sale. Started yesterday all the, all the way to August 3rd. So I will... Sorry. I will link down below um the online store website so you guys can go shop and enjoy the and enjoy the sale also i will be posting my instagram business account so you guys could go join and um follow and stay up to date with everything so i opened up my business starting in the mm, uh, nah, like the beginning of the year but i didn't fully open it maybe like to like march um, it's just opening up a business takes a really long time. Um, it takes a lot. You don't know how much, how difficult it is to open up a business until you don't like, just like throw yourself to open up the business. So it takes a lot. You have to do the whole registry with the state and everything. The whole, that's just a whole big process. So that took a while. Um, and then just setting up the, setting up the website. I did everything by myself. I set up my website. I don't want to pay anyone for that. I did it myself. Um, so I'm the one that takes the pictures. I'm the one that adds it. Um, in the website, I'm the one that does everything. I'm the one that does everything. Also on, on Instagram, I'm the one that has, I'm sorry, my hair is like wet and it keeps bugging me. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. Um, and I'm the one that does everything on Instagram and everything. So I'm behind everything. Uh, when you order, I'm the one that, uh, that, uh, Get your order ready. Um, my husband just helped me ship it out also. Like he'll like take it for me or whatever if I can't make it. But basically it's only me. So yeah, that's been what's been, oh, sorry guys. This is like, th that's what's been taking up most of my time. Like I have my stuff right there. Most of my time. Um, also, anything else that has happened? I got COVID again. <laughs> I myself had it first. Um, my husband didn't get it and the kids didn't get it when I had it. And I think I got it from work. I'm pretty sure I got it from work because nobody else in my house had it at that time. So I started with stomach issues. That was on a Friday. I was at work and I'm like, I don't feel good. Like my stomach felt bad. And I, you know, I work in with kids. And they were like, you know, you should go home because if you're not feeling well, you just never know what it is. So I was like, all right. So I came home. That Saturday, I didn't feel too good. Sunday, I woke up and I'm like, yo, I really don't, like, I feel worse. So um, I told my husband, I don't know, like, something's up. If this is not just a stomach bug. Like, I felt worse. I was congested and, you know, not feeling good. So I was like, you know what? I ordered one of those home tests that you take from the, the government send it. I don't know. One of those tests, like home tests, I took one and I didn't even, like, you know, you're supposed to wait like 15 minutes. The minutes didn't even, they, didn't, they, they were not even 15 minutes. Yeah, like less than five minutes. And everybody said that I was positive. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> 
So I was positive. Um, the way I was feeling, I kind of knew something was up. I didn't think it was COVID. I just thought it was like something like I had a bad cold or something. So I was very stuffy. Um, it was less, I felt better than the first time. The first time I had a huge headache on this side of my head and my eye. This time it was a lot of stuffiness. Um, I felt like a really bad cold this time. That's basically what it felt like, a really bad cold. Um, but yeah, I got it again. And then <laughs> we took our kids to something that is called Sky Zone here. Um, it's like a trampoline park. Okay, I always get interrupted. So, uh, what was I saying? So we went to Sky Zone. That was on a Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so a few days later, that was like a month later, like weeks later after I got it. Like I got it, I felt better, whatever. Because when I had it, I, I was still working. Um, I was still at work. Um, so I missed like a whole week, five days. So but it's technically a week because that happened Friday. I didn't go back to the Monday, not that Monday, like the following Monday. Because when I was supposed to go back the fifth day, no, actually I went back Thursday. Thursday or Friday, I don't know, or Monday, I don't even remember. But I, I know when I was supposed to go back, then I had a cough, like a weird cough. So I didn't feel comfortable going back with that cough. So I didn't go back um, when I was supposed to. So I went back like six days, seven days, whatever. Um, yeah, I went back Friday. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to go back Thursday. I went back Friday. Yeah. So then months passed, like a month or something. Like, my kids were already done with school. We took them to Trampoline Park. We invited my, my oldest, his friends. So we were all there. They were all playing. Nobody had masks because, you know, we're really not wearing it much anymore. Like, it's just, like, not existing anymore. Um, I think I'm going to start wearing it again because I'm like, what the fuck? Now there's monkey pox. I'm like, what the heck? So <laughs> I think we're going to start wearing a mask again. This is weird. So, all right. So then a week late, like a week, not a week, like a few days later after we took our kids to Sky Zone, my little, I'm not saying that it was there that he got it. It's just my little one is very um sensitive. Like he is prone to getting sick easily. Like his immunity, I give him vitamins and everything. He's just very sensitive. He is the one that's giving me like the most headaches with um, getting sick. He gets very high fever. Like one time he had um, strep and his fever went to, up to 105. Like I remember I was even crying because he was like not responding. Like he was just like his eyes were closed and I was like shaking him and shaking him and shaking him. And I was like, my husband will grab him. I will grab him. And like he wasn't waking up. And that shit freaked me out. I remember I was like crying holding him so he is prone to getting high fevers and he's prone to getting sick more often than my older one so i can't say that he got it there he could have gotten it anywhere i know he didn't get it for me because when i had it no one else had it my husband was negative um my kids were negative because i tested them like i tested my little i tested my kids like the same day i came back positive just to make sure my husband didn't want to get tested. He's like i feel fine i feel fine i'm like whatever i don't i don't know whatever um my so then a few days later i wanted to test my kids again just to make sure and they were still negative so they were negative when i was positive oh my neck hurts so then when that time came my little one started having uh mild fevers um his throat was hurting and i'm like oh my god don't tell me this um like i say i can't say he got it from sky zone because i mean the, the thing why why i say why i even mention it it's because there's a lot of kids, there was a lot of, you know, not a lot of kids, but there was a few kids. And, you know, the kids, it's it's in, it's closed in, they're jumping around, they're touching, playing, they had balls, like, like um, it was like a basketball thing. They were, like, all touching the ball, playing with it, and, you know, so that's why I'm saying it. But I can't say that's where he got it, you know, so I can't be like, yeah, that's where he got it. But, so a few days later, um he had a mild fever and um he his throat was hurting and stuff like that so i'm like could it be could it be that you have this so i got him tested and same as me it wasn't even the 15 minutes and he came back positive and i'm like mm, interesting so yeah he was positive um i put his mask on i was like put your mask on but they're kids me telling my kids to stay away from each other is like impossible 
So, um, all right. So then they were already done with school when he got it. Oh my God, my ear hurts. I don't know what ears bothering me. All right, nice. So then, like, they were already done with school. That was like, they were done with school June 9th. And that happened like a week later after they went done with school. It was like, right. I was like, well, I guess perfect time, perfect timing. So then they could enjoy the summer after that, right? So then a week passed. My little one was already better. No more fevers. He was feeling good. All right. Then, boom, my older one starts with a fever congestion he sounded nasally like i sounded he sounded the same way i sounded because me i didn't have a headache but i sounded very nasally and uh, congested and yucky so that's how he sounded and i'm like oh my god don't tell me this it's like no no it can't be it cannot be so then i get him tested he was positive also a week after my little one was fine I'm like great so we all got it again except for my husband he was all, then at that time um he wasn't my husband started feeling weird and i'm like oh my god no, he's gonna get it too like a week after my older one was feeling better then he started feeling weird i was like what the heck we're gonna get it one by one by one so because of his job he had to go get tested like to a place so he went he was negative he was he got tested here because like, i don't believe those things and blah blah i'm like why what do you believe it like <laughs> whatever so he went he had to go anyways because his job so he went and got tested and it was negative i was like okay so i guess you know i guess you just have cold um he does suffer from like sinus issues like um uh like allergy sinus so it was like allergies kind of what he had not nothing like nothing covid but um so he was negative but everybody else got it like me and my kids i'm glad that we were okay i got it less i felt better than the first time because the first time i felt horrible but this time wasn't as bad. Yeah, I feel it still felt crappy because you're not gonna feel good if you get that. Like even if you get it mild, you still feel crappy, you know. So yeah, that's something else that happened. Um, summer has been very, like I'll say, fun and active. We um, have done a lot. Um, we have gone to this one amusement park that we have gone a lot to it. We got a membership for it, like us, like a yeah, membership. It's a membership, like a. What is it called? What do they call it? It's a membership. I don't know what they call it now. But it's like to like for the whole like season. So it's like up to October or something. So we have gone there a few times. Um, we've been to the pool. We haven't gone to the beach, but we are planning on it. Uh, we want to go to the beach. We're not big, big beach people. Like I get a headache with the sun too much. Um, so I do get a headache. And we're not. It's just a whole mess of the 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 water with the whole sand and sand going in places and getting the ah oh, and the, getting the kids ready ready with sand all over there it's kind of annoying but i did order this thing on amazon where it's like a tent so that's where we're taking we're taking like a tent because i'm sticking myself under that get in the water go back under my tent <laughs> it's almost been this is better because with the umbrella it's not like one person at a time or maybe two one on each and like this like we all fit in there we go sit you know in there so i'm like you know and to get dressed we could get dressed in there i mean i can't i'm not so i'm not tall my husband is taller but um like he can't stand in there but you know if we need to get dressed like you know we could like slip stuff on or if i could get dressed i don't i don't fit standing i believe i don't think i do um so it's not, it's not like i could stand in there but at least like you know i could like change my 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 top and like, put my shirt on you know things like that in there I don't have to like go to the bathroom and like holler my kids with me and like come on guys like you know um and I can get them changed in there so I was like this is better so I bought a tent so if you're planning going to the beach and you don't like the sun so much like me yeah the tent I don't have a lot of sunburn I'm gonna say I don't tan quickly I burn and then I tan so for me to tan i will have to like i tan when i go to like tropical places like last year i went to dominican republic and i tanned i burned and then i tanned but um over there i tan here i burn and then i tan a little bit but it's very rare you can't really see it so much um, my back is tan more than my front don't know why um so and then this past saturday we went somewhere so we have gone to a lot of places i tell my kids you guys cannot complain 
because this summer has been really good to you guys because we have done many things and that was the purpose like because we're not traveling anywhere this year um like we were planning on going um going traveling somewhere this year but then i was like we don't want to my husband got a new job so um it's not that easy you know you got a new job and stuff like that so since we're not traveling um we're like you know let's get the season pass season pass that's what it's called so we have the season pass for um a nearby um amusement park and we have been there a few times already we're going to continue going until it's like we can't go anymore <laughs> um so we've been there a few times so we have had a lot of fun this summer i'm gonna say I, i'm like my kids can't complain because we like i told them are you guys like we've been to baseball games we've been we took them to see um like uh what is it called the big trucks like the big four wheels motorcycle two stuff what is it called it's like tr trunk something I, don't know, I forgot but we took them there um and they loved it it was it was cool like it was really cool i thought it was it was really loud i got my little one he suffers from a lot of ear infections so i bought him like one of those ear things and then my older one he's like mom but it bothers me too and i'm like all right so we bought him one of those things too for his ears but it is really loud and it was outside it was really loud so yeah i just wanted to make this video talking i don't know you guys love hearing me talk um oh yeah i also i got another iron infusion um in may i had my blood drawn and uh it was low as always i don't know um i haven't had surgery yet um i do have to make an appointment to my OBGYN. i'm trying to make it now before i go back to work because i'm not i don't work the summers so i'm gonna try to make it now before i go back but it's just like i just really don't know what to do um i spoke to a doctor about getting the hysterectomy like my my um um not my OBGYN, my it's a home doctor my doctor doctor i don't know i was supposed to my doctor and she um advised me she's like i don't know why will they tell you to do that you're young she's like if you were old an older woman i will say okay go for it but she's like you know i might bring you problems but like i know people that have had it done and they're fine but it's just like not everybody not everybody's body is the same like what worked for one person might not work for me so that's what I'm afraid of. Like, I'm afraid to have, like, trouble afterwards. So, I don't know. Somebody recommended me, like, you know, you should get it because you are anemic and it's due to your period. So, you should get it. And I'm like, I know. But it's like, I hear so many stories. So, I just don't know um, what to do. But, um, I don't know. So, I did get another eye infusion. <clears throat> At the beginning of June. Beginning of June. Yeah, beginning of June. Beginning of June, I got another iron infusion. Um, so, and it went fine. Um, I didn't have any complications with it. As always, it was really quick. Like usually, it takes six to eight hours. I was I was out of there like in three hours, two to three hours. So it was really quick. Like I remember, usually I will have to like miss work because I will be there all day, like from eight in the morning to like four in the afternoon. Um, this time I took half a day of work and I went there and they did it and I was fine. I was like, oh, this is weird. So like I even told the nurse, this is weird that you guys are doing this so quickly, like in short time, because usually it's like six to eight hours. She's like, really? But why? And I'm like, I don't know. She's like, oh no, this is like this. This is not gonna take that long. I'm like, okay, so whatever. So. <laughs> It was six to eight hours, um, and it was good. I didn't have any problems, like any issues, like I had the other time. If you guys missed that video, go watch it. My last anemia video, I had some issues, like the constipation, like um, not this one, of course, and like ooh, the last one before, like two, three infusions ago. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so we'll go watch that if you guys haven't watched it. Um, yeah, I'm recording from my phone because my camera was dead. 
it was totally dead because I haven't used my camera in I don't know how long. My little one had it the other day. He was pretending he was recording. I'm like, yo, leave my camera alone. He's like, you don't even use it. I'm like, yeah, but so what? I don't want you to mess it. It's, like a, it's a good camera. I'm like, I don't want you to mess it. I'll put it back. And he's like, okay. So the battery is like totally dead. So I'm charging my camera. I am going to, I want to start recording more. And I had so much opportunity to record really nice this summer because we've been to a lot of places, but uh, maybe I'll do a collage, like a video collage video and I put pictures and videos of everything we have done in the summer. I might do that. One thing, my kids like to look back at these videos, My, especially my little one. He likes to, like, he'll go to YouTube and he goes to my channel, he looks at my videos. So, I like to do that for them because they, 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 there's videos here that I'm like, oh my god, why am I talking like that? Like, I feel weird listening to myself and I'm like, why did I say that? Why do I look like that? Why didn't I fix myself? Like, I don't really fix myself. Um, I washed my hair. I was like, let me make this video quick. I was going to blow dry my hair and I was like, no, no, I don't got time for that right now. I hate blow drying my hair in the summer because there's no point of it. So I'm like, yeah, whatever, I'm not going to blow dry it. So I came to do the video quick. I didn't even do my hair. Didn't do anything. And sorry, it looked really natural. <laughs> so um, my kids like to look at these videos. So I might do like a collage video, put like pieces and videos of everything that we have done this summer. Maybe towards the end of the summer, I'll do that. So I could add, like if we go to the beach and anything else that we do from now on. I do go back to work august something middle of august i'm like in the mid mid august i go back to work so i want to go back to work <sighs> i'm like i to stay i was like i like being home like it's so much more relaxed like i get up i do breakfast and it's, it's just so much more relaxed but we gotta go work we gotta make money all right so i guess this is it guys i hope you like this video um, stay tuned. I will be doing that collage video and I will be recording more. I always say that I never do, but I'm going to try because my kids are really like bugging me. They're like, mom, you don't make videos anymore. Like they really, they get on my case. Like, like, uh, like mom, you need to record. Why are you going to record? Like now <laughs> I'm like, okay guys, they're downstairs. I'm like, you know, I need you guys to stay downstairs because I'm going to make the video, you know, and me talking, me by myself. And they're like, are you, are you even gonna, my little one he's eight he's tiny but he is very spunky like he's very outspoken and i love that about him and i never want him to stop being that way but he'd be putting me in my place too he'd be like are you even gonna post it and i'm like maybe i will maybe i won't let's see i don't know all right let's see let's see how it goes so he's very spunky like he is very outspoken and i love it like i never want him to stop being that way my older one is more timid i mean he does talk like outspoken but not as much as my little one my little one will put anybody in their place very respectfully he is not disrespectful my little one but yeah he'll be able to he's like are you even gonna post it i'm like i don't know maybe not <laughs> all right guys well i have spoken for a long time this video is gonna be really long doing my hair here oh i'm gonna do something different to my hair <gasps> maybe i should record that next week maybe i'll maybe i'll make a tiktok of it I'm gonna do something different to my hair. I never done that. I done something like that, but a long time ago, and I never done done that. So stay tuned. Maybe I record. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how my salon lady would like for me to record her, but let's see. All right, guys. Well, like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more, and yeah, comment down below whatever you want to know. And I will link my business account, my online business, and my Instagram down below, so you guys could go. Uh, follow my Instagram and go shop. Go shop, and I have a twenty percent off sale when you use code um, Summer Fun. Twenty percent off your total. So I check out, just do Summer Fun, and you get twenty percent off. Come on, guys! Like, and it's only to August third. I will put all of that that I'm saying at the bottom. All right. So take care, everybody. <laughs> see, see you next.